Would you like to give this a try? I would. Great. And just see how it feels. Because you can see when you're sitting down at that angle, we're using... Vulnerable osteoarthritic hip and knee joints need protection during day-to-day -day activities. Using correct body mechanics reduces joint stress, as do assistive devices, mobility aids, and rearranging your home and work environment. Proper body mechanics includes moving the joints the right way and maintaining correct posture. There are ways to sit, sleep, and to move about in your daily life that protect and support your sore joint. When sitting, avoid low chairs. Use a chair with a low back or one that gives added lumbar support. With armrests, you can push up on. Some people may find it helpful to add a firm cushion for more support. Because my arthritis was in my hips, I couldn't sit, and there wasn't any chair in its natural state that was, was comfortable for me. So a six inch dense foam cushion became my friend and it went in my car, it went into the office. Bed blocks can be put under sofa or bed legs to securely and safely raise the seat height so it's easier to sit down and stand up. Proper body positioning is important even when sleeping. When lying on your side, use a pillow between your legs this maintains comfortable leg alignment. Always support your neck and choose a pillow height that keeps your neck in a neutral position. Sleep on a firm, supportive mattress. If you've had the same mattress for many years, it might be time to replace it or add a supportive foam layer to the top. A good night's sleep keeps energy levels high and gives your joints a much needed rest. Try to avoid stairs. Use ramps, elevators, or escalators instead. If you have to use stairs, remember the heaven and hell rule. And basically the idea behind the heaven and hell rule is that when you're going up the stairs, it's like you're going to heaven, so you lead with your good leg. And when you're coming down the stairs, you lead with your bad leg, like you're going to hell. So your good leg does the vast majority of the work in terms of bending and also the amount of joint loading with that. Um, would you like to give it a try? Yes, I would. Yeah, great. Okay, so when you're going up, you're leading with the good leg, like you're going to heaven. Okay. And when you're coming down the stairs, you're leading with your bad leg, like going to hell. Okay, and how did that feel? Oh, that feels Getting in and out of the car can also be challenging with a painful hip or knee. So I put my leg straight and I sit this way so that way I don't have to bend the leg too much. And before I do that, every time I exit the car, uh, instead of having the steering low, I, I lift it up so it gives me more space. And another change that I did, I used to drive very close to the steering like this, like NASCAR style, because apparently it's a better technique, better control of the car. But it caused me some lot of pain, lots of pain in this, in this hip. It, it has started a, a, few, a few weeks ago. So I, by moving my seat back a little bit, and pulling the steering close to me, it changed the angle of my leg and uh, the pain is disappeared. Made a big difference. Another way to protect joints is to avoid putting pressure on the lower body by not carrying heavy loads. But even small weighted items should be carried properly, that is, close to the body. They recommended uh, lots of things to do. One, get a cushion to sit on. It helps, and then um, a stocking aid, which I thought, oh, I don't need that. That's for old people, but uh, it is absolutely marvelous. I don't have to strain to get my sock on. To avoid bending down, which puts stress on the joints, use various assistive devices. A sock aid and a long-handled shoehorn help when dressing. Over the... Use a long-handled reacher to pick up objects from the floor or from a low cupboard. I would have to bend to clean out the tub, but with this gadget, it, uh, all I do is just spray it, and then I let the faucet run, then I can just scrub it all around everything. You may find it useful at some point to use mobility aids such as a cane, crutches, or a walker. 
And if you can allow yourself to use those devices to manage just the small day-to-day -day things, you might find that then you have the energy to go do the really fun things and those things that you really do enjoy in life. It may be useful too to arrange your home so that objects are easier to reach and to maneuver around. For example, in the kitchen, keep frequently used items stored between waist and shoulder height. If your pots and pans are kept in a low cupboard, move them to a higher shelf that you can easily reach. Avoid activities that involve weight bearing through bent hips and knees, such as getting in and out of the bathtub. In terms of getting over the side of the bath though, there is a piece of equipment such as this which is called a bath transfer bench. Um, this can, is height adjustable so you can adjust it to a height where you can comfortably sit down and also stand up from it. Um, and the idea is that you sit down on it and swing your legs to get over the side of the bath so you don't actually have to step over, which can make it a little bit more safe for you and also increase your confidence. So would you like to give it a try? Yes. I guess also having the rubber mat both inside and outside just gives you a little bit more traction and also makes you feel a little bit safer as well. Consider using a grab bar and a raised toilet seat in the bathroom to conserve energy and avoid falls. On the toilet here we have a raised toilet seat and this just clamps onto the actual porcelain bowl um, just by a few screws on the side. Surrounding it we have a toilet safety frame which again just clamps on to some of the screws at the back of the toilet and just provides you with some armrests to be able to sit down and get back up again. You can also get raised toilet seat with armrests as well. Avoid repetitive tasks or spending a long time in the same position. Take short, frequent breaks and alternate activities. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, you want to get up and move around and change positions. People who do a lot of computer work and sit at their computers it's often really important that they get up and stretch and move around. Saving your energy is key. Consciously pace and plan your activities. Balance activities with rest. And rest before you begin to feel pain. And being organized is a really good way to avoid doing the same exercises over and over again or the same activities that may be aggravating that joint. Maybe you've got all your laundry upstairs and you're going up and down the stairs ten times a day to get things. Set your priorities for the day or week and use a log or appointment book to plan your daily or weekly activities. Devise smart goals to help manage your daily activities while protecting your joints. So, practice good body mechanics, use assistive devices and mobility aids, and organize your environment and plan activities so that you can experience less joint pain have more energy, and keep your joints working for you.